Hello, welcome to Brando Tech Info and our review of the laptop triple screen extender from Red Alf. Now I don't even own a desktop computer, so all the script writing and editing I do for the channel, I do on my laptop. And while I do occasionally take my laptop on the go, I don't do it very often because when I do, I miss my multi-screen setup. So when the folks at Red Alf asked me to try out their laptop triple screen extender, I was excited to try it out. And while we were sent this product for review, no one at Red Alf was given any type of input into the making of this video. And no early previews were given, so the folks at Red Alf will be seeing this video for the first time right along with you. What a relief. And right off the start, I have to admit something. Even though I've never actually used any, I have at least seen these type of screen extenders used before. And I assume they actually all work the same way, with a clip that attached to the primary laptop screen that the two extended screens attached to. So I was actually a bit surprised when I unboxed the product and saw this thing. I could see that. Mm. Now for full disclosure, this stand is not particularly light, but it does feel very sturdy and well made. And instead of clipping on the laptop itself, it has a built-in kickstand. So you adjust the stand to accommodate the size of your laptop monitor, and then you simply place the stand behind your laptop. And this way of doing things does come with some advantages. First off, it puts less strain on the hinge of the laptop since it doesn't have to support any extra weight. But perhaps even more importantly, it gives you a lot of versatility in how you can actually set up and use the extended monitors. For example, example, you can use one or both monitors in a portrait configuration. You can run a stack screen setup either with or next to your laptop. You have 235 degree flexing hinges, so if you're collaborating with someone, you can easily point a screen in their direction. But if you really want to up your collaboration game, you can use this triangle formation and mirror your screen so that everyone at the table can easily see what you are working on or presenting. In all, the stand actually has seven different individual configurations. The product also comes with a little standalone kickstand that can be used independently with either monitor with or without the main stand. And the simple attachment mechanism, along with the included instructions, makes the whole system pretty easy to set up and use. So long story short, too late. There's a lot of flexibility and a lot of use cases that can be accommodated here. Now, none of this fancy schmancy stand shenanigans means anything if the monitors aren't up to stuff, so I'm happy to report that they are. The dual 15.6 inch monitors run at full HD 1080p resolution, so they look nice and sharp. This combined with the screen semi-matte finish means you should never have any issues with visibility, even in the brightest indoor spaces. And I also didn't notice any flickering or lag. Which is nice. And if you max out the brightness, you should even be able to take your work outdoors, at least if you are lucky enough to find some shade. And adjusting that brightness is pretty easy because all the settings on the monitors can be changed using the built-in control wheel on the back of the monitors. This means no drivers or software needs to be downloaded, so you can just plug and play right out of the box. This along with a plethora of included cords and cables means the monitors should work with most devices, so long as they have the right output ports. For example, to get both screens working for me, I had to make use of my computer's USB-C port for one monitor and I had to use an HDMI USB-A port combo for the other. So as with any setup like this, make sure your device has the right ports and outputs to make something like this work. And while the monitors will work with most devices, they won't work with all devices. More on that later. Can't wait. Each monitor feels solid and sports a nice balance between feeling well-made while still feeling portable. The monitors also have built-in speakers and they have a magnet system that also adds to their portability. And included in the box is a pretty nice carrying case that has enough room for both monitors, the stand, and any needed cables. Now remember a few moments ago when I said, and while the monitors will work with most devices, they won't work with all devices. More on that later. It's now later, and it's important to know that these monitors won't work with Apple's latest M-series silicon, along with a few other devices as well. Fortunately, there is a list that can be found on the product's landing page on Amazon, so checking your device's compatibility shouldn't be too difficult. How convenient. And because nothing is perfect, there are a few other things about this product you should probably know about. I'm listening. As mentioned earlier, the control wheel found on the monitors are a nice way to make adjustments to the display without any downloads or drivers. However, because that wheel is located on the back of the monitors, you will need to play reach around when making adjustments to your display settings. The stand may not be ideal for certain setups, like if you use an elevated laptop stand. The combined weight of the stand and monitors together may feel like a bit of a heft for some people, and as is the case with any setup like this, you will have to deal with at least a little cord management. I don't necessarily feel like any of these issues are a deal breaker, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't at least mention them. Fair enough. 
So what are my final thoughts about the Red Elf triple screen laptop extender? I can say for at least me personally, it has been a nice find. As now I actually have a true productivity setup I can take with me on the go. And I think the quality of the included displays and the workspace versatility provided by the stand could be useful for a lot of people. Right now you can pick up this product on the Zon for around 300 bucks. And for that price, I think you simply have to ask yourself how game changing this setup will be for you. If you are someone who primarily uses their portable computer for checking the news, keeping up with your socials or checking your email, you probably don't need to drop $300 on this type of productivity solution. But if you are someone like me who uses their laptop for writing, research, and video editing and is used to a multi-screen setup, being able to conveniently take that setup with you will probably make that $300 asking price seem pretty reasonable. Agreed. But that's all the information I have for one day. If you wind up picking up this product or if you have any experience using a similar product, please feel free to come back here and leave your experiences down in the comments. That way we can all continue to learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.